first of all, the, the sky is not falling. Um, my name is Frank Hazard. I'm from Allegheny County. Back in the day, uh, there used to be part of the population called the silent majority. I want to compare the silent majority to the folks that don't come to commission meetings and watch them on TV or read about them in the paper. These hardworking, good people are working and taking care of their families, doing the day-to-day -day stuff around the county with civic organizations and keeping the county going. I, I just want you to know that these folks are out there. They, you may not hear from them, but they care about what you do and for the most part, support and trust you. Uh, you get to hear from what I call are the squeaky wheels. Uh, the folks that make all the noise and think they should get all the oil. Uh, my father once told me that uh, opinions are like rear ends. Everybody has one. Well, I'm, I'm here to address some of the opinions I've heard from this podium while sitting home and yelling at my television. Uh, the, the board has been criticized for setting goals for for what it would like to accomplish, uh, because setting goals, according to the speaker, is how the communists are going to take us over, uh, citing Nikita Khrushchev, stating how the Soviet Union was going to make the uh, U.S. fall like overripe fruit. Now, last time I heard, Nikita Khrushchev is not around anymore, and by the way, I haven't heard from the Soviet, Un Soviet Union lately either. I, I don't know what happened to them, but they're not making a lot of noise. Uh, if we don't set goals or make plans and, and focus on where we're going and what we're going to do, all we accomplish is to stand still and watch everything crumble around us. Uh, I'm sure a few of us here watched the Super Bowl. Uh, just, just think if, if there were no goalposts, what a mess that would have been. It was a mess anyway, but it would have been a worse mess. Uh, so, so to this board, I, I say please set your goals so you can get the county where it needs to go. Now, as far as the Constitution goes, I, I've taken the oath to protect and defend the Constitution several times. Uh, when I joined the Marines, uh, when I became a police officer, uh, when I went to work for Homeland Security. Every time I did this, it was with great reference for this wonderful document. As I, I'm sure you five commissioners felt, I, I'm tired of the Constitution being used as a political football by one party to make points against the other. The, the board does not have to pass a resolution saying it supports the Constitution when it's already done so when it was sworn in. And when you took that oath and included all the amendments, not just the second. Now, some say the second amendment is under attack. That's fine. That's their right. Uh, I don't happen to feel that way, and that's my right. So here's how it works under the Constitution. Everybody says they want to protect and defend. The Senate and the House will debate gun control and pass it or not pass it. Now, if you don't like the result, if you don't like it, if I don't like it, we can challenge it in court, all the way up to the Supreme Court, where we'll decide what they will decide if it's constitutional or not. And that's how it works here in the United States. As for, they talk about the sheriff in Utah that stated he won't enforce the law. He should resign and run for the legislature. Uh, now, I hope you good people can get on with the job we elected you to do. Uh, I know the budget is coming up soon, and hopefully folks will leave these fringe iffy issues alone for a while and let you spend your time doing the important work of the county. I want to thank you, Tim, for your time, and thank you for your service. Is there anyone else that would like to address?